We knew it was going to be a challenge. Neither of us had any cycling experience before the trip, and there was undoubtedly going to be many low points and obstacles to overcome. We're arguing a lot more. Dad, piss off! Oh! And this is only the beginning. But it was going to be an adventure. Three months across one of the most incredible and diverse countries on Earth. A journey ascending the equivalent of five Everest through wind, rain, hail, snow and extreme heat. It is bloody freezing. It's been nearly 40 degrees again today. Crossing a continent over 4,000 miles from the Atlantic to the Pacific. There's raccoon in our tent. Loving that headwind. 350 miles to go and then we're done. Official start, and now we're heading to the ferry. Not much cycling to start with, but we'll do a bit more this afternoon. Uh, made it to New Jersey, off the ferry. Now try to start cycling, but it's raining. Day one's just being spent. Cycling alongside the Atlantic. The last ocean we see. Three months. How are you feeling, Dad? Bloody marvellous. <laughs> we are 10 miles in. Only 4,000 to go. Day one. Rain's gone, sun's coming out. Only three more months to go. We haven't had an argument yet, so uh, it bodes well for the future. Next few months are going to be fun. Looking forward to it. Heading into Philly at the end of day two. The roads are utterly dog awful here. I'm getting fed up with lights. However, Josh is still smiling. Just a moment. <laughs> Dad, piss off! Oh, just because of Mr. Turning. Someone's not happy with his nav. The first few days were a shock to the system, especially for me because instead of training back home with Dad, I'd spent the last three months partying in Thailand. This already began to take a toll on our relationship as my constant tiredness proved frustrating for Dad and the incessant headwinds were not making things any easier. But we knew things would improve. Just needed some time to get into the routine. At least, that's what we hoped. Here we are, day six, first ride of the day, taking the shortcut. It's not a bloody shortcut, it's a long cut. Thumbs up? No. Why not? Get off. <laughs> it's not very nice. Just cycling into a hailstorm. It's absolutely hammering it down with these things. They really hurt as well. Because the bridge has been blown, we're having to find an alternative route. So Josh is doing a recce in flip-flops, trailblazing the route through. And how are you going to get the bikes through? I'm now going over with the camera to set it up. And then we will come over with the bikes. But yeah, it's an adventure. It's quite deep and it's very cold. Ah, nearly fell there, which is not doing. I've lost the flip-flop. Uh-oh. Oh. Not just lost a flip-flop, I've broken the flip-flop. Oh. 
pushing up from that. Now we're up that. At least it's sunny today. Just arrived at our campsite. Tents. Just over there, first night in the tent. Quite a successful day, I think. It's about 55 miles, but lots of hills. Ohio is purely just hills. This is not the sound that you want to be woken up by when you've got a day of cycling and you're in a tent. Yay! Bicycle is covered in snow. Snow's coming down a bit heavier now. Bikes are packed. It's time to get moving into the snowstorm. <laughs> How refreshing! <laughs> Everything's freezing. All I can see is my handlebars and about two meters of road in front of me. Because as soon as I lift my head up a slightest amount, I just get a face full of snow, which isn't enjoyable. It's bloody freezing. Just had our first punch of the trip. Just coming along this highway here as we just entered Missouri. Uh, must have um, gone over a bit of glass or something and it's just gone straight into the tyre. Made the inner tube flat. So we just had to change that over and because our tyres are really good, they have some pain to get off and on. But that's like finishing up the pump. And hopefully we can get it sorted before the rain comes. Should be good. A little bit soggy. When it comes to accommodation, if we're not camping, we use this website called Warm Showers. Uh, Warm Showers is a free service where people um, around the world can host um, bike packers and walkers who are doing long distance adventures. Last night, we were in this garage. As we made our way slowly west, the signs of spring started to appear, and before long the bare trees became lush with greenery and flowers. Things were actually starting to get easier. We had gotten into a flow, learned to tolerate each other more, and instead of being surrounded by cars on the busy roads, we found ourselves surrounded by nature as we cycled the next 300 miles along the Katy Trail. Falling rocks, really? That's like more like falling mountainside. Slightly worryingly, uh, the skies have got significantly darker and given we are in the middle of Tornado Alley in tornado season and there was one here a couple of days ago that uh, killed six people, I'm kind of looking for shelter now. We need swimming goggles. Fuck, it's thing. We're getting wet. <laughs> this is pretty brutal, actually. So the storm came in pretty hard. With the lightning hitting the ground uh, only a few hundred meters ahead of us. We managed to find this pew cushion factory and they have kindly left us in to take shelter while the storm passes. It's 
one of the world's largest cow farms and it is massive. Nice and flat, nice tailwind, happy days. We've made it to the geographical centre of the US. After a month of cycling in the wet, we finally hit Kansas, the boring state as we had been told. The sun started to make more of an appearance and the vegetation began to disappear. Kansas came with its own set of challenges, and these were not physical ones but mental. Motivation was already starting to slack at this point, but when there is nothing around except for the long straight road in front of you and the odd grain silo, boredom really starts to kick in. It's like cycling in the desert here, hot and dusty, and this is only the beginning. So there's a raccoon in our tent. He managed to take out a bag of pasta. I think that's all he got to. He'd come back in for more, but I had woken up and shone a torch in his face and could just see him. Oh dear. Ever since we left New York five weeks ago, this has been the one moment I've been thinking about quite a bit. Uh, we just come over a rise here in Colorado and in front of us are the Rockies and they're huge. We're getting ready to head up, head up the hills, up to across the continental divide, so a bit of a climb today. It's already very hot, we're at 7,000 feet, so it's gonna be a bit of a leg burner and a bit of a lung burner as well. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And we'll keep, keep pushing and enjoy the view. It was refreshing to hit Colorado. Although it was the start of the climbs and we still faced the ceaseless headwinds, the vast forests and snow-capped mountains framed in clear blue skies made the challenge much more exhilarating. Time for a little energy boost to get us to the top. Talk about pushing the comfort zone. I'm puffing a bit now. This is getting pretty tough. It's the Continental Divide. All down here to the Pacific now. I wish. The Continental Divide was the major climb for us, not only physically, but as the key psychological summit of this journey. The symbolic start of what we expected to be the downhill ride to the Pacific Ocean and the finish, just over six weeks away. We're now leaving Grand Junction, about to head out into the Utah desert. Uh, we've got two days to Moab, I think we'll be wild camping tonight, uh, as there's not much around. So we've packed up the bikes, got loads of food, loads of water. So yeah, let's go. Headed about 35 miles, and then the winds have just picked up so much. 50 mile an hour of gusts, probably higher. Um, we came over a rise and it's just impossible to to cycle so we were looking on google maps on satellite mode and we found these few the last few settlements for about another 40 miles um, came and knocked on the door and asked if we could put our tent somewhere luckily she said that we could but it was so windy and she has this massive garage um, and she said we can put our wall mats and sleeping bags here so we'll be spending the night here it's also a quail farm um, that's what they do raised quail, so all the little chicks that have just hatched, which is kind of cool and cute. 
but it should be, should be an okay night, at least we've got some shelter out of the wind, but a long day tomorrow. We have made it to Utah. This is the state sign. <laughs> This place is insane. I knew Utah was going to be incredible, but this has completely exceeded expectations. It is so cool. Oh, off the highway now, and into a bit of a desert. This is the worst road we have cycled on for the whole 3,000 miles so far across America. The shoulder is about just over a bike, well, not even a bike width wide. It's just, it's tiny and you're wobbling all over. I mean, you've got the rumble strips and then you've got big lorries and everything going past. Um, uh, haven't got too much further on it, hopefully though. Only a few more miles. My left foot has a sixth toe, which is sticking into the side of my cycling shoe and making it really painful to cycle. It's getting worse and worse, but I'm just grizzing it because we've only got four weeks to go. We've been going almost two months now and I've absolutely loved this journey with my dad. It's been absolutely incredible um, sharing this time with him. Um, but it is getting to a stage now where we're arguing a lot more. Um, I think fitness level wise, I've definitely progressed a lot more. I don't know if dad's tiring up. He's got the pro problem with his foot, so he's slowing down a lot and I'm speeding up. So I'm now having to wait every sort of five miles, at least five, 10 minutes for him to catch up which over time can be quite annoying because I know that I could just be, if I was on my own, you know, I'd be miles down the road. We're both absolutely exhausted and shattered in the evenings. Uh, like, I really, really appreciate him coming. I absolutely love spending this time with him. And I, I, I know I'm going to look back at this time for the rest of my life as an amazing thing to do with my dad. So I've just got to focus on the positives, push on, try not to argue with him. Um, and yeah, have a good last, last few weeks on the bikes. We are now starting the biggest climb of the trip, we believe. It's about 6,000 feet. We're going straight up. We're already about 2,000 feet up from where we started, so a little way more to go, but 
it's exhausting and it's hot and it's windy. Got to get it done. It was hard but humbling. Being specks in this vast landscape really made us realise what matters in life and to appreciate the simple things. Other than cycling, our days consisted of just finding a place to get food and water and a good place to camp. And in this simplicity, our previous stresses diminished as we found joy in this total freedom and the generous hospitality of the people we met along the way. We've just arrived at the, uh, the, the tunnels at Zion. We're keeping an eye out for a truck because you can't take bikes through the tunnel, which is a bit of a bind because our campsite's on the other side. Uh, so we're just waiting for uh, the truck to turn up to flag down. Uh, and fingers crossed we'll get through before it gets dark. Happy days. Bikes are in Obi Van Kenobi, just in front of us. Um, I'm getting a lift with Mum, who just flew out to meet us and spend the last couple of weeks with us as we head to San Francisco. So hopefully, the bikes will be safe in the van with Dad. In stark contrast to the snows of Ohio, the deserts of Nevada, our penultimate state, would present an altogether different challenge. High altitude, extreme heat, and seemingly endless roads rising into distant mountains. Reaching each summit became a gateway into yet another immense valley and endless road. It was a hot, hilly Kansas just with hardly any people. I wonder what the drivers are angry for. Really hot day today, it got to 38 degrees, so 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm cycling on the ET Highway, uh, with Area 51 just next to us, a lot of alien stuff around. Tomorrow we've got a whole day with nothing to be fair, this is the last settlement for the next 100 miles, so we are camping tomorrow. We need to stop everyone off the water for two days. But yeah, should be fun. Hopefully not too hot, but it probably will be. Well, two hours of uphill on another day in the desert. Toughest part of the uh, trip so far. It's very hot, high 30s, very high. We're about five, five to six thousand feet, and it's uh, it's up and down. Loving that headwind. It doesn't feel as uphill as that, that looked. No, not at all, no. No, my feet didn't hurt, my arse didn't hurt, my hands didn't hurt. Your face didn't and My face didn't hurt. Face my lungs hurt. weren't bursting, my eyes weren't streaming, my nose wasn't running. It's right, we're nearly there. Peak of physical fitness. Stick a tea bag in there and make a cup of tea. It tastes nicer than this would. So, the place that we were hoping to camp tonight had fences all around it and it said do not enter. So, we've had to keep going uphill, obviously. Um, luckily, it's got a bit cooler, but still nowhere we can find to pitch a tent. Hopefully, we'll find something before it gets too dark. The sun's now about to set and all the mountains are going orange. And we're both exhausted. The sun has set, we've just found a place to camp, and most importantly, we're still smiling. Nice. How picturesque and lovely. What a delightful camping spot. I couldn't have picked better myself. Agony on a daily basis. 
There she goes. Cool, nice and crushed. I'm your foot in advice. Final state, <sighs> California. Oh, yeah. 350 miles to go, and then we're done. Woo! Final big climb of the trip today. Probably the biggest climb as well of the whole trip. 6,000 feet up to the top of Yosemite National Park. And then all downhill, pretty much to the Pacific Ocean in just under five days' time. That bloody headwind. Sure, someone has been putting it in a box and getting it out every time we want to do something a bit tough to make it even tougher. But I got my banana, so I'm happy. Yum, yum, yum. up the big hill and we're on the last few lumps before San Francisco. 8,000 feet, a lot of it downhill, which I'm happy about. the worst I've felt all journey. Yeah. It's just the heat and just absolutely exhausted. It's been nearly 40 degrees again today, but not really with a wind chill, so I'm absolutely... Oh. But he's got his alien, and he's got his duck, and he's got his dad. So he's really happy. Lovely bit of ah, mountain biking for the final two miles of probably our hardest day of the trip. Ah, just gets better and better. We've resorted to walking the bikes up because 50 kg bikes up a mountain slope don't do very well. Oh, it's horrible. Look at it. I'm not cycling up that. Oh, fuck this. It's the hardest day. By far. Ugh. 
We're here now. Day 67, and also our final day of the trip. Just a short one for our final one. 15 miles across the Golden Gate Bridge and into San Francisco to complete this absolutely epic three month adventure across the US. We've just come over a rise in front of us is the Pacific Ocean. How are you feeling, Dad? A bit mixed at the moment. It's uh, sadness because the journey's coming to an end. And a kind of realisation of what we've, what we've actually achieved. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all a bit weird. A bit weird. Into the final 2.5 miles and my chains come off coming up the hill. Joshua and his jinx bike again. We've got two miles to do and he insists on getting the chain off. One day we will end this chain. We've made it to the Pacific Ocean. Boy, what a trip it's been. 15 states, over 4,000 miles and 67 days of cycling. And we're finally here. Not quite the sunny California that we'd hoped for, but you know, you can't ask for everything. We started in the rain and the drizzle all the way back in April in New York. Here we are in the fog in San Francisco. Definitely a lot fitter than I was three months ago. And I think both Dad and I have lost a bit of weight. We've learnt a lot about ourselves, each other, our relationship, and also about this incredible country. So many things we've seen on the road. Amazing American people that we've met. And now it's time for this adventure to come to an end. And for a new one to definitely start. Definitely more coming. Well, that's it. We've um, we've forged a line across a continent, seen some amazing scenery, met some incredible people, and it's been an unforgettable experience. Uh, more so for doing it with my son. Uh, yeah. What an amazing, amazing adventure, and it'll be unforgettable for the rest of our lives. Phenomenal. It's all downhill from here. Yum, yum. We're being chased! Massive tractor. Not flat, not flat. Those were cooling off tent. Colorado, the road west, rush hour. Woo! You lot of what? There's a tub without one. What are you looking at, cow? I found a new hat! We're nearly there.
Trust me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Garfield. The thought of a grinning cat at this stage did make me smile. Oh. 